Welcome to Game Night tonight for another game unboxing of this game, The Big Book of Madness. So this game looks like a lot of fun. We picked it up because, I mean, we just read the, the description here on the back and it, it sounds good. The artwork looks good. Looks, It looks fun. So ultimately, you are a student wizard, a bunch of student wizards. It's a cooperative game. And you've opened up this ancient book, right? And it's released all these monsters. And now you've got to go back page by page and reseal these monsters back into the book. That way you can save the world, basically, even though it was own, your own foolishness that unleash these monsters. But again, it is a cooperative game. It's a deck building mechanic game. So you're gonna be working together, collecting different cards. But here you have the rule book, um, how to set everything up, what's gonna be happening, what you're gonna see, different scenarios. There's like a monster phase because all these monsters that have been released are gonna be like trying to hinder you from, you know, locking them back into the, the book. I don't blame them. But there you go. Have it. It's not very long, 12 pages of rules and things that are going to be happening there that's not bad at all so not a not a really long read or anything like that but here we go we got some cards some bigger oversized cards here and in them we looks like we've got some turn phase cards so this is a two to five player game so wow so all these are different or are they different advanced it looks like ah interesting so th this will tell you on one side, it tells you on your turn what you're gonna be hap what's gonna be happening in the game, what you can do. And then on the other side, you have the different players. So different players you can choose to be, which wizard you would like to be in the game. So you have the different ones. It looks like there's two for each color, possibly. Yep, so we've seen two reds, two blues, two browns, and finally, two greens because it looks like each of them have different powers here of which cards they can utilize so there you got those the player cards and then here let's look at both sides okay so we'll start on this side so these are looks like the different monsters that we're gonna be seeing in the game so and the different to like different symbols and tokens that you're gonna have to collect to be able to defeat them and lock them back into the book of monsters, essentially. So you got goblins. I'm loving this artwork. You got a giant spider. You got like a squid face. It's Davy Jones, who knows? A uh, samurai ghost guy. A green, oh my gosh, it's got wings too, and Medusa hair. You got the Kraken. Holy cow. Just a giant cyclops guy. A court jester, I don't know, that's interesting. Whoa, that guy looks crazy. You got these weird twins. You got a dragon. A plant beast. And then this is the end. Ah, so this is probably at the very last thing. You win. Each player plays one magic token on their deck when the monsters, this monster arrives. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, there you go. So there's the end of it. But on the back side, it says what's going to be happening. So... Ah, so if we defeat it and if we don't defeat it, right? So if, if he makes it, then each player places one mana in the discard pile. So you're going to go crazy or go mad if you do not defeat these. So you have to do, you ha it looks like you have to get the, the certain uh, element tokens or whatever to be able to collect them, to, to lock that monster back in. And then whatever happens, you're going to have different things that will happen with it if you cannot do it or if you do it. Well, those are those, and then you got the four locked token. That's interesting. So there's four locked ones. Maybe that's like in the setup where they go. Who knows? I'm not sure. That's crazy. So those are the oversized cards. It looks like those are the monster tokens overall. We're going to break into this really quick. We've got um, the book itself. So there's a little wedge, a wooden wedge piece. It's the book. And of course, for freshness, we've got our gel packet and then you've got a wizard's hat it looks like the sorcerer's apprentice hat right there boom so those are the two little pieces that we've got both made of wood nice that book is really thick though i mean it does have to hold a lot of an a lot of uh, creatures and monsters here's our pop out tokens we got the different elements that we were talking about earlier we got this token and it says big book of madness on the back but just tokens right there the punch outs and then ooh, here we go so we've got, here's our game board. It's not too big. So there you have it. So it looks like different phases, different cards that you can play. I'm guessing this is the monsters or whatever. 
trying to lock, like, like we're wizards. We're trying to, you know, contain this mistake that we've made of un unleashing all these monsters. Hopefully we can do it. All right, we got regular size cards in here. Let's see what it holds. Perfect. Yeah, so this game is for 14 and older, probably because it's a little more advanced, uh, but it does take 60 to 90 minutes. So I'm gonna be going through all these cards pretty quickly, so if you want, you can slow down the video or stop it to see what it has. So on one side, it's got the elements. It looks like, I'll just do the elements on here. So this is all the elements. You have every single one, all four of them, and then you got just the single elements. Looks like there's the fire elements, you got the wind elements, and you got the earth or plant elements, and then the water elements. So here's the cards that we have in the water elements. You got the discarding, you got discarding. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go through these fairly quickly. Again, if you wanna stop, you can stop them. Yeah, so each of these is gonna help you because um, it looks like you're collecting more, but everybody has to discard different cards. So again, cooperative game, you wanna try and do what's best for the whole collective group to be able to get these monsters back into that book. But different things are gonna be happening. The more elements that you get, it looks like the more that you're gonna have to discard things. Um, and maybe that's just every single one has, a f has four elements on, I'm not sure. But yeah, you got all the wind elements here. But you do not want to go mad before these book these monsters get back into the book. So that's where it becomes kind of crazy, because you're literally going crazy if you do not trap them back in that book and work together to do so. My guess is you have a certain time time limit or time counter that's going to be happening, um, and then you got the full elements. But the time counter is going to be counting down, and if you can't get that monster back in the book in time, you're going to start going crazy, or maybe he attacks you guys or something. I'm not sure. But we're going mad. We're going mad. Bunch of wizards. Foolish wizards. We were already mad enough to like open the book and release these monsters. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. So there you go for the, all the oversized cards right there. We've got one more little... Th oh my gosh. And then we got some square cards in here. Let's see what this has. So it looks like the, just a bunch of cards. As I said before, it's a, kind of a deck building uh, mechanism game. This has the same kind of idea. So on one side we have the Big Book of Magnus. It looks like here's all the white cards, all the same thing. And then you got the black cards of Big Book of Madness. Oh, but these ones have like wind cards, certain number of of wind token symbols right here on there. And then you got the plant, you got the water, and then you got the fire, right? So those are going to be found in there. Uh, let's go through those ones first. So here we go, we got the power of the inferno, we got the concentration, you got warm-blooded, we got cauterization, regeneration, adrenaline, aura of fire, we got a circle of fire, you got purification, tor torrential rain, you got cool head, you got frost mirror, glaci uh, glaciation, the ice touch, the raining frogs, Arctic Circle, Tsunami, Ice Cocoon, and then you got Sands of Time, Essence of the Earth, Stone Skin, Abundance, Bark Skin, Taking Root, and Telekinesis, you got Flowering, Earthquake, Aspiration, Breath, Mental Control, Levitation, Tornado, Eye of the Tornado, Daydream, Avatar, and Illusion. So there you have it for those ones. These are ones that are more specific to the actual elements. So those are lined in black and have the element symbols there. And then on here, it looks like, yeah, so it still has the element symbols, but these are lined in white. Uh, the different symbols, you got earth, the water, and the fire at the end. But we're going to go through really quick. We have combustion. You got another combustion, another combustion, another. So maybe, yeah, it looks like these are all going to just be the same. So ice, you got ice for all of those. Yep. So ice, you got growth. And those are all of those. And then the last one is telepathy. So there you have it for those square cards right there. 
individualized the different, as I said before, the different elements. And then we got these two decks of smaller cards. I'm gonna bust into this one first. Get this one knocked out. What's, where's that easy pull tab? I never can find these, they're so hard. Why does it have to be so difficult? I know they're trying to make it easy, but man, a knife makes it easy. That's what I think. All right, here we go. Into the small tokens, the small cards. So all these are the, it looks like it's the same backing. So just the big book of madness and it has all the elements on the bottom. So we're gonna kind of go through these. Um, you got one, one wind, one wind, one wind. Looks like all these are the same one. Yeah, so it's just to collect one wind token or one wind symbol. Ah, then we move on to the twos. <laughs> Twos, yeah, so it just coincides with the element and how many of that element token you actually got or get. And then you got the threes. So it looks like three is the highest. There's not as many of them, so it's good to get those. Uh, that way you can knock those monsters back into that book. And then you got all the, so this is gonna be the exact same thing, right? So tons of ones for the water. Boom, and then move on to twos. Not nearly as many, but still a good handful. And then the threes, there's really not that many, but you gotta collect them because that's what's gonna help you get through. And then you got fire, just ones on the fire. And that's it. So, well, I guess we haven't opened up this one because that's where we're gonna find the next batch of them because I'm sure the twos and the threes, I was just gonna say like, wow, where's the rest? But here they are, here they are. You got all the twos. Get the threes, not as many, of course. And then you got all the ones for the earth right there. You got the twos, the threes, right? And those are the elements right there. And then we've got these other cards. So still the book, big book of madness symbol on the back, the logo and the element stuff at the bottom. But then on here, we've got different, it just looks like a, Yep, so you're going mad. So you're chained in there, you're in a padded room, and you've gone mad. So just tons of these. I'm guessing you have to mix all these in, and as you're collecting the, the different elements, you might happen to come across these, go a little crazy at the, in the process. But there you have it for those. You got all the tiny cards there. You got their your square cards there. You've got the bigger full-size cards right there. We're gonna run into the monster cards, the character cards. You've got your token of the sorcerer hat, um, the player, the actual board you're gonna be playing on, the tokens that you're gonna be getting, and the rule book. So, lots happening in here, but at the same time, it's a cooperative game. You guys can work together to figure it out, make it work the best that you can. But this is great. Two to five players, 14 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. So if you want a longer game, but like a longer game where you are working together, this is a good one, or at least it looks like a good one to me. I love the artwork on it. I like the idea of you guys being these students who opened up a book and now you have to kind of re, uh, reclaim the mistake that you have made and fix it. But there you have it for this unboxing of The Big Book of Madness. Looks like a fun game. I'd pick it up. I mean, I did pick it up. But if you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe down below. That way you can catch any future how-to videos, uh, the game playthrough videos, more game unboxings, what have you. And we will catch you next time on Game Night Tonight.